In this video, we're going to run through the 2017 Float X2 volume spacers. There is a difference from the 2016. Now you are able to leave the shock on your bike whilst changing your volume spacers. So for 2016, you had the rubber band one piece volume spacer, which required you to remove the shock from your frame. Now, for 2017, you've got the two piece spacer, which clips together, making it a lot easier to fit when the shock is mounted to the right. bike. So to start off, remove your dust cap. And then the best way to remove the air from the shock is to attach a shock pump. This is to ensure that all the pressure gets slowly taken out. Now we have to do it slowly just to make sure that all the pressure is out of the negative chamber. Right, so before you release the air, just make sure you make a note of what pressure you are using, just so once you've completed the job, you can go back to that original pressure. Just slowly, just take the pressure out. So once you've removed all the pressure from the shock through the pump, detach the pump from the shock, and then just make sure by pressing the core that all the pressure is released from the shock. You're now ready to move the air can. So with all the pressure now out of your shock, grab the air can, nice firm grip, rotate it a quarter of a turn towards the reservoir, and then you're gonna be sliding this off down the shock. So nice firm grip, give a bit of a wiggle, there he goes. Now with your valve core, just rotate it out the way, just so it's a bit easier to work with. You now have your volume spacers, nice and easy, really simple to remove from the bike. Just pry the top open, and there you go. Give me two pieces, they just hook one on top of the other. Same again to add a volume spacer. Either side, just clip them into place, and then when they are in place, just make sure they're seated right either end. So when you've decided to add or remove volume spacers and you're ready to refit the air can, bring the valve core back up to the top and on the back of the air can you'll see a little locator key. Just line them up and then just a little bit of a wiggle back on, you will go like so. And then when there's no gap there, again, Rotate the whole air can towards you, away from the reservoir. Wind your pump back on, and then pump your shock back up to the pressure you originally started with. So that's it, really quick, really simple, easy job, which can change the whole feel of the bike. Please experiment, have a play around with different amount of volume spacers. Depending on the shock size, it will depend on how many volume spacers you can actually fit. So consult your owner's manual just to check you don't overdo it. The 2017 Float X2 volume spacers are compatible with the earlier Float X2 models. So click the link to buy yours now.